Almost all patients with bronchial asthma will need an inhaler. Look at my desk. There are all sorts of inhalers that we need to use to make your asthma much better. Usually you'll need just two inhalers. One we call a reliever. It's a short acting bronchodilator. A pro air would be one. It's albuterol. Um, Max air autohaler would be one. It's pure buterol. A provental would be one. Ventolin would be one. Those are relievers. We must know how to use those. Let me show you how to use a reliever. The object is to get that spray into your lungs. So we sit up straight, we shake up the inhaler, we blow air out comfortably. Too often people go, I don't want that. Just simply go, keep the air out of your lungs, put this to your mouth. We're gonna push and breathe in long, slow, deep, and hold it. Watch me carefully. Check it up. <sighs> you hold it for 10 seconds. Now you need to breathe it in over a period of three seconds or longer that will get the medicine way down in the small airways where the inflammation is, where the asthma is going on. If you breathe it in too fast, for instance like this, then it becomes turbulent. It deposits in the upper airway. We have to get the inhaler medicine way down into the bottom of the lungs. Let me do it again for you. you shake it up, blow out comfortable, and then hold it for your 10 seconds. Looks easy, I've done it a million times. It's not easy, you have to get somebody to watch you. You have to bring your inhaler with you to the office every time you come so that we can watch you use it. It's important. If you don't use it right, not gonna work. Let's say it's just too hard to use. Then we have what we call a spacer. This is extremely helpful for people that have a difficult time using their inhaler. Well, let me show you how to use it. There's a little mouthpiece, take the mouthpiece off. And then we have to insert the inhaler. I like to wet it and slide it in. And now it's ready to go. Uh, let me show you how to use this. We shake it up, hold it out in front of us just like a trumpet or a trombone. We're gonna push and then breathe in. And this one, we don't have to time it just well. We can push and then breathe. When I push it, you can see the medicine go inside the canister. So we're gonna push and then breathe in long, slow, deep, and hold it. Watch me. <sighs> hold it for 10 seconds. If you'll notice, there was a little horn. It's a protective mechanism tells me I'm breathing in too fast if that horn's blowing, so I have to slow it down. Now hear how some mistakes are made. Some people will go. <sighs> and so they spray it into the mouth and breathe in through the nose. You have to breathe in through the mouth. Most common, this is the athlete that does it. Shakes it up, blows out, puts it to the mouth, goes. <sighs> What a good boy am I. That's the wrong way to do it. You have to breathe it in long, slow, deep, and hold it. With practice, you'll be able to use your inhaler properly. Always bring your inhaler with you when you come to the office and show your doctor how to use your inhaler. Could mean the difference between your being able to breathe well and not breathe well. We're after your breathing being the best in town.